हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज द पोजिशन ऑफ द आई एस कर्व हेयर वी हैव टू पैनल्स द अपर पैनल एंड द लोअर पैनल वी हैव डिफाइंड द एक्सेस एज इनकम और आउटपुट ऑन द होरिजोंटल एक्सेस एंड एग्रीगेट डिमांड ऑन द वर्टिकल एक्सेस एंड इन द लोअर पैनल इनकम और आउटपुट ऑन द होरिजोंटल एक्सेस and interest rate on the vertical axis this is the initial ad curve and this is 45 degree line initial equilibrium point and equilibrium level of output is oy1 we have shown these combinations in the lower panel as oy1 is the equilibrium level of output at interest rate oi1 and this is the initial is curve okay now suppose that autonomous spending increases suppose that autonomous spending increases due to the increase in a bar aggregate demand will be increased right and there will be an upward shift in ad curve you can see this upward shift in ad curve and the gap between these two ad curves will be change in a bar okay this will be the new equilibrium point named as point e2 and new equilibrium level of output is oy2 we have shown these combinations in the lower panel but one thing to notice is that this new equilibrium level of output is achieved also at interest rate oi1 that means this time there has been an increase in ad due to the increase in a bar without any change in interest rate interest rate remains same at oi1 okay this is the new is curve named as is dash and the gap between these two is curves will be change in y equals to multiply times change in a bar conclusion if a bar increases then there will be rightward shift in is curve and if a bar decreases then there will be leftward shift in is curve where a bar is identically equal to autonomous consumption plus mpc times transfers plus autonomous investment government expenditure and net exports so if any one of these components increases then there will be rightward shift in is curve and if any one of these components decreases then there will be leftward shift in is curve okay thank you